Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we're actually on holiday. So, well a little holiday, it's Noah's birthday so it's Saturday, shop's actually closed today and uh, I'm off with them on a holiday break, well a day break down at the beach for his birthday. But the video we're doing today is, well yesterday, yesterday, so uh, we've got baby, well we've got Eggos from the fish. So it's really exciting, really exciting. So it's the first time we've had Eggos from this type of fish ever. Um, and we haven't had Eggos for a good while. We did have some from the angels, but we kept losing them. Um, but these are actually from the parrot fish. So they're very, very cool. They laid them yesterday, um, which was absolutely perfect. But today we spotted a couple of problems. So we're gonna see if we can sort them out. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. Let's see what we get on. We're doing some other things as well today. We're going to be removing maybe two of the fish um, just to give them some privacy and some time to them just to chill on their own. That's the plan anyway. So, um, this is what we have. So, we have our three parrot fish, two of them have paired up, and we have one Oscar. So, uh, we're definitely going to have to move Mr. Oscar because he's just getting bullied, he is because I. As you see, just got bullied, pushed to the corner. They've, they've claimed most of the tank now to protect their eggs. I'll show you the eggos. So they're all of our eggos, she's protecting them. I knew something was going on because the big one had been sucking stones up and plonking them down here. I thought they were doing a nest down there, but in the end they've laid the eggs onto the, the rock. It's a piece of lava rock, which is very cool because they've almost filled all the dimples with eggs. How cool is that? So we do have a couple of problems we're going to sort out. So if I can get the focus back. Go away fishy, let me see. Let me see your babies. So, go from above. See that one there? Bom, bom, bom. That white one is a dud egg. And what we don't want to happen is for it to infect the other ones and for them all to go white. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's a couple. So we're gonna go through and see if we can flick them off to stop it spreading to any of the other, any, any of the other eggs. First, we're definitely gonna catch Mr. Oscar because I don't want him to cause any stress on him and stuff like, because they are bullying him. Another little thing as well, look how lovely the tops are. We had a good day yesterday, cleaning all the tops of the fish tanks. So they all look A1 now. I've still got to do all these ones. Still got to do all them, Ugh. but uh, we got all these done, so I'm really happy with that. So next, we're going to catch Mr. Oscar, move him into a separate tank, and then we'll go around and look after the, see if we can get those bad eggs out. Okay, it's Oscar time. I've got my bag set up there. Let's see if we can uh, get him. There we go, there we go. Whoa. Calm down, buddy, calm down. Whoa. Splashy, 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 splashy. There we go. Ooh, in the bag, in the bag. Good lad. There we go. Just clean this glass as well. Oh my lord. Okay. So there he is. We'll put him straight over into this one. There we go. We'll let him acclimate. We'll give him a quick dunk. And then he can be released in a bit. Okay, so we can leave our ski to acclimate. Okay, there's an elastic band in there. They are going to be a little bit aggressive towards me. I'm going to get some pecs and stuff like that, I am. Okay, they're going to be trying to block a lot of it. I'm on one. There we go. I've released it. Go away. It just fell into the rock. Oh well, okay. There's one there. Okay. Oh, the other one jumped off. Okay, that's good. The fish are trying to get me <laughs> as we speak. Oh. 
I popped it. Popped the white one. Fishy move. No, I can't see, but the camera can. Oh, I'm getting a good peck then. Ow! Ow, that hurt! It made me knock one of the eggs off, it hit me that hard. Ow! It's proper ramming me. It's good, it's good mother, motherly instincts. Ow! Yes, got one. Ow! Stop hitting me! I'm knocking you over eggs! Okay, I'm going to do a couple more and then I'm going to have to leave it because they're getting a little bit upset. Okay. Uh, give it a blow around. I've had one or two good ones fall off. They should still be good there. They should still hatch if they're good. There we go, got that one. I don't think there's much more I can do. The rest of them are all proper dug in the rocks. Okay, they would have to leave it like that. Hopefully that does us good enough. They do look good though, don't they, the eggs? They do look really good. Hopefully we'll start seeing something in them in the next couple of days, as long as they don't get eaten. Fingers crossed. Well, hey, so that's the parrot fish. Really happy with them. As you can see, they're defending their eggs like really good mummies should, mummies and daddies. So I don't know which is which at the moment. Um, but I'm extremely happy with it, extremely happy with it. Hopefully we get some eggs. I will keep you, eggs, babies, I will keep you updated. Uh, we've got to release Mr. Oski uh, in a couple of minutes, so we'll do that afterwards. The eggs really should hatch within two to five days. Uh, the white eggs were either bad ones or unfertilized ones. If they're not fertilized, they will all turn white and they will never hatch. Um, they should have been fertilized between one and four hours after the eggs were laid. Um, so depending if the male did that or not, is depending if we're gonna get any good ones. Um, hopefully, what we're on day two, so we should be looking in a day, in two or three days, we should know 100% whether we've got fertilized eggs or not. But we're more, we're more than happy to keep them for a bit. Is that another egg hanging out of her butt? You got one, you still laying? Oh no, she's not, she's not. Look like it. Look at them chilling out. There we go, I'm really happy with that, really happy with that. We're looking at two, well, three days maximum. After that, they're either not fertile or it can be a little bit longer if the temperature hasn't quite been right for them. We're looking at about 28. And we are 28.5 to 29. So I will put something in there to try and cool the water down a little bit. We should be doing at least 15 to 25 percent water changes a week which we do that anyway um but we do bigger than that we'll just reduce the amount we do so it doesn't shock the tank ph got between seven 6.5 and 7.5 ours is believe is 7.5 all the time because it's the same for the water tap water it's, it's exactly the same so uh yeah i think oski's ready now so let's give him a uh, a release okay buddy are you ready? Hopefully you won't get beat up as much in this one. I mean, there's a big garami and a big owl eater and a red tail shark. But you're big enough and ugly enough to look after yourself, my boy. 
So uh, hopefully you won't have any troubles. But there we go. Well, there you go, everybody. Just a short video today because obviously you know I'm out and about today. Um, I'm like, I couldn't not show you them. Couldn't not show you them. They are epic. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. If you want watching the video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to play this, it's up there. Apart from that, we'll see you in the future. Bye.